Hey everyone, welcome back to Webdesk Solutions. Today in this video, we are gonna see how we can create Unisa V3 pools. Okay, so in this video, I have already created the code. Like uh, the code will code link will be in the description. You just have to come over here and just change these variables according to your your needs and just run this uh, file. Okay, so I'll explain the complete process in this video and I'll not be like writing any code over here. So you just need these variables to create Unisa pools, uh, which I'll be explaining now. Okay. So these two are the token addresses which you want to create pools for. Okay, the token zero address and token one address. Meaning, if you want to create ETHUSDC or RVUSDC pool, the token zero will be R and the token one will be USDC. Although the pool will already be there, uh, like you will be creating the new one, right? So you just have to change this address. Okay. So after this, you have to provide the fee tier. So we have four fee tiers: the 0 0.05 and 0 0.3, 0 0.1 and 0 0.01. So these pool fees are collected when uh, swap is being made from these two tokens. Okay, any of these tokens are being made, like exchange of these tokens. So this is a fee which you have to multiply by ten thousand. This is how it stores in the contract. Okay, so we'll have to multiply it by ten thousand, and after that we need to have decimals of these two tokens. So for now I just have created like uh, tokens with eighteen decimals. So you can uh, modify this accordingly. So now what is this price gap ratio? Uh, the price is the ratio of tokens meaning like if you provide uh, one amount of this first token what will get the one uh, what will get uh, amount of second second token meaning like if you have ETH USDC pool the dollar amount of ETH is 2000 let's just assume and the dollar amount of USDC is obviously one dollar so if you provide this is a token zero amount okay and this is a token one amount the first one is a token one amount and the second one is a token zero amount if we pro provide 2000 USDC if you provide 2000 USDC, we will get 1 E. This is how it works. So, in this video, I am just creating 1 is to 1 ratio, meaning if you provide 1 WDS token, you will get 1 YT token. So, how they are created? Like in this file, this is created. I will explain it later. Okay. So, this is how it works. And after that, you will need to have non fungible position manager contract address. So, the, I know the name is big. Like it's used to create, no, it's not used to create, it's used to add liquidity and uh, add liquidity to a Unisa pool. Okay. So this is a factory address. Now uh, in this video, we will be creating pool in uh, Sepola testnet. Now where you will get this address from? So you can get this address from either the official discord of uh, either official discord meaning like you can uh, get these addresses. There are many uh, networks addresses over here. You can just copy paste there or else you can get that from their official website. Okay, over here. Both the link will be in the description. You can just come over to here and just copy the addresses. Okay. Uh, many many addresses are many changes main changes as well as to be in the here okay and after that uh, we just have to pass the amounts okay amounts okay so in this video i'm going to provide 10000 of wds token and 10000 of yt token so in this video we are going to create uh wds and yt tokens okay wds and yt tokens so 10000 of both the tokens i'll provide and this 18 is the decimals of the tokens okay these decimals you will have to pass here and this is chain ID, as you obviously know, like a Sepola testnet chain ID is triple one, double five, and triple one. You can search it in Google, like according to your chain ID, you will get to know about it. Okay. And this is a process, like let me go through one by one so that you get to know easily. Okay. So, first of all, we are getting the contracts of Unisub Factory by providing the Unisub Factory address as well as Unisub Factory ABI. So this ABI will be in the ABI file over here. As you can see, I just have pasted, copy pasted these two ABIs over here. Uh, the ABIs will also be go over here. As you can see, uh, here we have ABI. You just have to copy this, uh, expand it and copy it. Okay, or you can download and copy it as well. So let's go to the our code. Okay, over here. Over here, we are just getting the contracts of user factory and we get the contract of token zero and token one as well. Okay. So we get the contracts. After that, we are we are minting and approving tokens. So let's see what we are doing in mint and approve. Okay. So in the, here in the mint and approve, right? Uh, here as we are creating new tokens, we are just minting and after that approving. If you have already the if you already have the token balances and you have to create the tokens, you can just uh, add liquidity. Like uh, if you want to add liquidity, if you all have already the tokens. You can just meaning comment this line, okay? You just have to control and forward slash, it will be commented. So as we're creating new tokens, I, I'll just have to mint, okay? Because I don't have any balance here. After that, we will approve to the non-fungible position manager 
so that we can create the pools okay uh, meaning we can add the liquidity to the pools so let's go through our process so first of all we are minting and approving as you can see over here by passing our two amounts and the token zero address and token one address and the non fungible position manager okay this manager is used to like uh, mint nfts to you when you add liquidity to the pools okay this is how it works and after that we are getting the pool obviously when you initially create it this pool address we are like we here we are calling get pool function of uniswap factory so it has this function where you pass the token addresses and the fees it will get the pool address okay so for now as we are creating pool of two new tokens there the, the pool address will be zero address meaning this address okay so what we are doing here is if the pool address is zero we will create it if the pool is already created we will just add the liquidity okay so this is how it works you can like you can run this file as many times as you want there will not be any errors okay so this is how it works and after that if the pool is not created meaning like uh, if your pool address is zero by uh, by this uh, result of this function what we will do is we will create the pools okay let's see what's there in create pools so in create pools first of all we get the factory contract by passing the parameter and after that we will call the create pool function of the factory contract by passing token zero and token one address uh, this is a typo mistake over here you don't, have, you don't have to worry about that okay so we are passing token zero and token one address and after that we are passing the fees as well meaning the fee as we saw before and we are specifying the gas limit so that the transaction gets uh, successful uh, too quicker okay so we are providing around 10 million gases for this you might need many testnet tokens so in a previous video i have explained like uh, i have just uh, mentioned some websites where you can easily get the testnet tokens from so the link will be in the description you can click over there and get it over there and get the test tokens okay this is how it works after creating the pool we will get the pool address now the pool is created right so we will get the pool address meaning like pool address will be something different other than zero address as you can see over here it will be different and we are consoling it so that we get to know what's the pool address and after that we are minting like uh, we are returning that pool address back so let's see what's being used for okay so as you can see we are storing that pool address over here and after that we are initializing pool we have to initialize to specify the price of tokens this price is the same price as you can see over here okay this is the same price over here one is to one ratio so what we'll be doing here let's see that okay so in the initialize pool function we are get, just getting the contract of the pool meaning like we are getting the pool contract by passing abi and the pool address and after that we are initialize uh, we are calling initialize function passing the price price the uh, ratio of the token the ratio of the price okay as i've explained before and we are specifying around 3 million gas so that it goes through easily and we are console logging that pool is initialized so that now we have created and initialized the pool now we can add the liquidity okay as you can see over here we are adding liquidity so now let's see what's there in add liquidity so you just have to don't worry about like these parameters i, I have already configured those you just have to uh, like configure those variables above which i mentioned so here we are adding liquidity right first of all we are getting the pool contract by passing the ABA and address and after that we are getting the pool state so now let's see what's there in pool state okay so we'll control click it okay as you can see over here first of all we are getting the liquidity so in this case as the pool will be uh, like firstly created meaning uh, now just now it's created the liquidity will not be there so it will be zero the slot zero you don't have to worry about these variables in the next video i for sure explain these variables to you guys okay so as you can see this sparrowed price ratio as you already know this is the same ratio which is uh, we have created above over here over here okay so you just have to know this knowing this means uh, you just have to like uh, know about this uh, this is the price ratio okay so after that we are returning it you don't have to worry about these variables okay uh, we are not uh, like playing around with these variables in the next video i'll explain though okay so after we get the pool state we are storing it in a state variable okay so after that we are getting the token meaning that this is a token uh, which is provided by unisap p3 like sdk okay unisap sdk core unisap core sdk we are getting those tokens from and after that we have we have to pass the chain id and token contract address and token decimals okay this is just a process you don't have to worry anything about this 
and after that we are configuring the pool okay uh, configuring the pool means we just have to provide this is the variables and it will create the pool uh, over here so once we configure the pool over here right so we're just passing these addresses over here we are getting the configure pool a configured pool variable over here this is not the contract interaction at all this is just a class variable okay you don't have to worry about anything over here so after that we are minting uh, like we are specifying the pool uh, options okay so if you know the, what the tick lower and tick upper is you can configure it by yourself if not in the next video i'll explain this one by one okay so that you clearly get to know what is all those things okay so this is how it works so make sure to subscribe to our channel okay so that you never miss an update when i upload any video okay so this is how it works and there's a position variable and you have to close it here and after that we are having a mint options these options we are just simple uh, simple uh, what we call properties over here so we have recipient which is nothing but the signer address over here we'll see like what are those and uh, what where we get from so after that we need we specify deadline like how many minutes uh, minutes you want to wait for this transaction to complete okay and after that slippage tolerance uh, this also will be explained in the next video okay so we will close this and after that we are just adding call parameters to our non public position manager this is also the interface provided by uniswap core sdk if i show it over here as you can see uh, it's uniswap v3 sdk as well uh, just look over to these like uh, SDK. So if you are creating in your own hard hat project, uh, here I have already installed, so I have imported it over here. So make sure to install if you are using in your own hard hat uh, project over there. So after creating this, like uh, this adding call parameters, we are creating a transaction object. The data is the call data, as you can see over here. We are passing that to non fungible position manager. Like this is a, this is where you add liquidity to the pool. And we are specifying value. In this case, the value will be zero. We are not going to pass any eaters to these. And after that, the deployer address, meaning the scrum address over here, we are specifying gas limit of 10 million. Okay, so that it will be easily created by our node providers. Okay. After that, we are sending those transactions by passing the transaction in our send transaction function. So here we are minting those tokens, approving those tokens, creating pools initializing them and adding liquidity all the process are here so you just have to what you have to do is uh, have to create as many times as you want you just have to modify these three variables these many variables okay this is how it works so what we do now is i'll just save this file okay what we do now is first of all we will deploy the tokens okay uh, so in this case i just explained wdsyt i have already created the address so let me show you again like how you can create address you just have to run npm run create not create pools deploy tokens as you can see if you run npm run deploy tokens right what it will do is it will come out to this file of deploy tokens.js it will get the token contract from here so token contract is nothing but uh, erc20 contract with the mint function being public okay as you can see over here so what it does is it just deploys those two tokens and provides me with the address okay as you can see over here it just providing me with the address so let's see if the token is created so it is creating tokens for us let us wait for it to happen and after that after we get the token addresses right what we do is we just paste this token address so here so let's see yeah we got a token address of wds and yt we'll just paste it over here and the yt address over here over here okay we will save this file and what we do now is we just create uh, create the pools okay so you just have to run npm run create pools this create pools will run this main function okay so it creates the pool for us it will take around one minute to create it okay so i'll come back when this pool is being created and initialized so as you can see the pool is being created but i have don't uh, but i don't have much of sepolitesnet tokens so it gave an error so what i did was i just took some more sepolitesnet tokens from my other account and pasted it here so what I did was, you just have to have private key in your env variable over here. Uh, so I have env file over here. So I have pasted my private key over here. In that private key account, like meaning like uh, the private key is your valid address private key, okay? So you can get it from MetaMask. So in your private key, right? Like in your wallet, you need to have enough funds. Around one Sepoli ETH is needed. So you can create that easily, okay? So as you can see, before I got an uh, initializing error, like uh, adding pools error so like meaning 
I didn't have much of transaction funds. Okay, so what I did was I just added some more testnet tokens and the pool is creation pool creation is done. So there is no error in transaction. Uh, it's just like the I didn't have much of testnet tokens. So once I added tokens, it's fine. So we'll go to the like pool address. Let's see what's the pool address over here. So in the testnet uh, explorer, we'll go to the pool address. So as you can see, the pool is created around four minutes ago, which, which we are created. So let's see the deployer. So in the deployer, right, as you can see over here, first we are uh, minting and approving. And after that, we are minting. Okay, just let's let us see over here. As you can see, there is after initialize, we are transferring tokens, meaning that these are transactions of transferring my sample testnet tokens. Okay, I just uh, took some tokens from my wallet addresses over here. So after that, we are minting the position, meaning like adding liquidity. So in the adding liquidity, right, as you can see, we are transferring the tokens and we are getting an NFT for creating like for adding liquidity to our pool. Okay, this is how it works. And as you can see over here, the pool address is here. And after that, we have added liquidity. As you can see, the live proof is here and it will be working fine. Make sure you just have enough amount of funds in your uh, wallet. Okay, make sure to add your private key in your uh, ENV variable over here. So this is how it works. Hopefully the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. So never you miss an update. Okay. So this is it. Thank you for watching.